This is Liron coming at you from Israel. As you can see, I'm back to my normal setup, which is really cool. Uh, the video is gonna be better quality and hopefully the audio as well. Um, and today, it's a great opportunity to review this Daniel Smith primary set. Um, this one, I just love it and let me explain why. Uh, because it's really cost effective and you get three perfect primaries. It's just really uh, great uh, worth for the money you pay for it. It's like 21 bucks on Amazon and you get three huge 15 milliliter tubes uh, which are really different from the measly five milliliter uh, tubes which uh, some of you may have ordered the uh, essentials and this is what you get. So this one's better. Uh, anyway, uh, I haven't had a lot of time to play around with it, but I kind of like the results I got so far. It can create re create really beautiful grays and stuff like that. Let's get to it, see what we can produce. Okay, friends, let's get started here. Uh, I'm using natural light, so this video may be blue, but I'll try to correct it later. Uh, also a little sneezed, so a little disclaimer. Uh, I hope I won't do all video long. Uh, so let me just show you the setup I have here. I've got here the... Um, let me just, because I'm really not sure what the name of the paints are again, so let me check. Okay, so yeah, I got here the Perlin uh, Red, the Hansa Yellow Medium, and the French Ultramarine right here. Okay, these are the three paints that uh, come in this set. I uh, hope you can see this. And... I'll just start filling up some swatches that I uh, made in advance and you can see here it's blue, red, yellow, uh, here we have the purple or magenta and green and orange and here we'll try creating some grays. I'm just all over the place usually when I do these types of videos so I just want to make sure there is some structure to it so I'm, I'll start with the blue and um, just go ahead and start filling in the swatches so you can see what it looks like. Uh, now there's a little more light, so <laughs> the video turned yellower, which is uh, good, I think, a good thing. So I'm gonna try also, uh, because um, I, I have a lot of updates to actually give you, I'll try making this uh, video uh, not so much, I, I don't really need to explain everything I do, so I'll just uh, talk over it uh, and share some general stuff with you. Uh, so I just came back from uh, Paris and uh, it was a really uh, great experience actually and I loved it. It gave me so much inspiration and I really enjoyed my time there. Uh, and so I'm, I'll, sure, uh, I'll surely be back uh, to visit again. And I just feel like I kind of love the city. And just starting out uh, filling in the swatches here with the blue. Um, and um, yeah, so now back home, uh, I have a lot of stuff that I need to work on. And I actually spent a lot of time in Paris planning for 2017. I kind of started my planning a little late. <laughs> I should have started a little earlier, but that's okay. Uh, because I have a lot of things I want to accomplish this year. Um, so many things that actually it's kind of uh, even hard to begin to explain. I set some really ambitious goals for myself. I'm just trying to get this a little darker in one side. Um, so I set some very ambitious goals uh, that I'm working really hard to achieve. And I'm starting with the new uh, plan, the new routine that I have for this year. Um, actually tomorrow <laughs> and uh, actually today uh, but it's gonna be really uh, demanding on my end and I'll have so much things to do and I'll be super busy which is good it just means more content for you guys and it means uh, more content on Instagram and also snapchat um, so it's a really good thing it's just gonna be a really interesting experience because uh, I'm, I'm going to be asking from myself a lot more. Um, I did uh, some inner work, actually, to understand what the things are that I want in my life and what are the things that uh, I care about. And uh, it actually helped me to understand the topics I want to share here on YouTube better and to sort of r realize what topics I want to discuss in addition to just the 
how to's uh, because I think I have so much to give in other topics as I said but actually it's gonna surprise you I'm not just talking about uh, business or stuff like that or making products productivity I'm talking even more about uh, the creativity aspect uh, just taking my time mixing the red here by the way uh, I'm talking more about here I'm talking more about the creativity aspect and how to summon that creativity and how to preserve it and how to uh, develop it when you sometimes may feel like you don't have it or you're not inspired. Um, so this is something new I really want to focus on. By the way, look at this beautiful red. It's really beautiful. Um, so this is a new topic I want to discuss a little more about how to be more connected to your art and frankly, it scares me. It's something I haven't talked about before, but I feel like I have a lot to say on. And and I think it's really important because the message uh, that I want to convey is that it's really possible to become so much more uh, in tune with your art and what you do. Uh, and just know what's good for you and what are the things that you want to convey using your art and, and just actually how to make better art and uh, you know a lot of people uh, may think you know there's no such thing as good or bad art well I agree uh, but there are a few uh, levels here that I think need to be taken into account if you're working for example on a medium like watercolor here dab it away <laughs> uh, now doing the hands a yellow if you're working on a medium such as uh, watercolor and there's a very clear path to the techniques involved uh, then there are a few uh, levels you want to cover. First off, you want to be able to technically uh, do what you want, speak what you want, convey what you want to convey using the medium. And for that, you must practice. And there's another aspect, which is actually the ability to connect with the medium, and let go of all of the practice and just uh, go for it and actually convey the message that you want to convey in your mind. By the way, let me know in a comment below if uh, these topics interest you because I'm totally just filling in the swatches here and I'm not really explaining too much. There isn't really too much to explain. Um, but, you know, let me know if this uh, is a kind of format you enjoy. And when I have something important to say, of course, I'm going to mention it. Uh, but just for now, so that I know. Um, anyway, now we have the, uh, we finished with the primaries and you can see just the beautiful um, color they produce. Let me just zoom in for a second to make sure you can really see this well. Okay, so you can see here uh, the French ultramarine, um, the perlin uh, red and the Hansa yellow medium, just beautiful. I love these and, and they're really uh, close to perfect primaries. You can also see here in this uh, small example, uh, just really beautiful. And what I'm gonna do now is start working on these swatches here uh, to the left and also later on with the grays. Okay, now starting to work on uh, the purple or magenta. I'm really, I'm not sure what the proper word for it is. Um, also, I, I know that I haven't really shown you uh, how to, how the paints look when they're not uh, so vibrant. Um, so I'll try maybe with these ones to show a bit of that. So uh, let's go for a pale sort of reddish magenta here. And you can see this. And let's try to just saturate it a bit more, both with the blue and with the red, just to get a little bit of a darker mixture. Because these two can get, I think, fairly dark. A little more blue. And you can see here, it's a little darker. Just a beautiful, uh, beautiful color here. I really love this. Uh, let's move on now to the green. And let's see what it looks like. So... Um, one of my uh, main focuses lately was really to figure out uh, what I want, uh, you know, in life in general, what kind of lifestyle I want to uh, live, what kind of uh, things I want to, uh, to achieve for myself. And from that, I sort of um, reverse engineered what I should be doing uh, to get to where I want to be. And one aspect that I really, really care about is actually uh, financial freedom. And 
because I know I have so much that I want to share. The thing is, I don't want to be stifled by money. I don't want money to be an issue. And so this is something I cared about for a long time. Um, by the way, I'm mixing the green here. So this is something I cared about for a long time, really. And I, it's just something I want to get sorted, uh, sorted out. And the one thing that fascinates me with it is actually passive income, uh, which is something I've worked towards. And <laughs> I know it's funny because a lot of artists really don't talk too much about these kinds of things. And this is why uh, I actually want to be the contrast to that, you know. I want to talk about these uh, things that are more uh, business-y and more um, uh, less floaty than art. I want to talk about both, but I really don't want to uh, just ignore one completely and say, oh, you know, um, money is not an issue, just make art. No, I think that uh, money is a great resource and a great uh, means to uh, improve your art, improve your resources, become better at what you do. And one of the things I'm working towards this year is to really uh, improve my situation financial, uh, financially and um, building just uh, sources of passive income. And I already started doing that by working on uh, the course uh, that I shared here. And I'll share a link. By the way, I'll show you in the end of the video something really cool. Um, so the course... And also, I'll be starting uh, to license my work uh, this year, meaning I want to start uh, making money from putting it on products. So stuff like Society6, uh, something I'm going to get into. Mixing some orange for you. You cannot see this. Let me move it a bit. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, Society6, uh, stuff like that I really want to get into and be able to expand my uh, my horizon and just build uh, more source of, sources of income. I know some of you uh, just want to make art, which is completely fine. Um, that's perfectly fine. It's just that for me, this is my passion. and It's something I want to do for a living too. So, uh, of course, if you feel like uh, the topics um, related more to the business of art and stuff like that don't talk to you, uh, feel free to share it in the comment below. And also feel free to just uh, disregard any irrelevant videos. I just want to cater to uh, an audience that interests and that has uh, interest in that as well. Okay. So, uh, definitely it's perfectly fine if you find some videos more relevant to you than others um yeah let's let's just get it a little more red here it's just this is beautiful i love that and you can see the purple green orange and now we can actually start working on the grays and to do that i'll just take this mixture of orange and start adding a little more blue to it uh, just to neutralize it a bit uh, <laughs> i feel like i'm really uh talking a lot in this video about stuff that aren't uh, that related, uh, but I like talking about these kind of stuff. I think it's, uh, uh, there's a lot uh, of videos that cover just art and, you know, stuff like that, uh, but I want to be able to talk about all of those. So we have here sort of a reddish gray that I created because the uh, yellow and red here are strong in this mixture. Uh, let me try to put in some more blue, just gentle touch and see if we can further neutralize it. This is how you create grays. You just keep adding more of the colors that you don't see. And there we have it. Look at it. Just beautiful gray. A little more neutralized, I think. Uh, let's try adding a little more blue even. And it may make this mixture a little blue. I found that the yellow here is very dominant, uh, actually. Let me just rearrange the camera. Okay, I found that the, the yellow here is really dominant, and the moment you add it, you can really feel it in the mixture, uh, which is something I like. Uh, I like strong colors. Um, I actually like to make my stuff a bit realistic. I don't like completely unrealistic paintings, stuff like that, uh, but... Um, but I love the vibrancy of colors. I like to add, you know, an interpretational touch. I don't, I don't uh, wish to copy reality as it is, but I want my creation to be anchored somewhat in reality. Um, it's something I talk a bit about in the course, actually. Okay, so just trying to darken it up a bit here. 
And you can just see, I love this uh, scale of grays here. We have this more of a red one, more of a uh, sort of green one here, a little bit of a, a really um, neutralized one in the center, or maybe a bit blue. Uh, so this is what you can produce from this set. And again, I think this is just great value for money. I'm not using any <laughs> affiliate links for now. I may use an affiliate link in this video uh, just because, you know, why not? But uh, it's not my goal here. I really, really love this uh, paint. In fact, uh, let me show you something I made uh, yesterday and I shared it on my Instagram as well. So I'm experimenting with some new styles, and I've gotten back to I've gotten back to sketching, uh, as you may have seen here uh, on another video on spontaneous sketching that I did that I can link to up here, and I did also a huge one that I also I think I showed you like this huge tall building, <laughs> and this one I actually wanted to start getting into doing a sketch and then adding the background uh, for the purpose of actually uh, licensing this for Society6 and stuff like that because I know uh, this look I think works there uh, really well so just I'll try to simplify things a little more uh, because if you want to have uh, these kinds of sketches on products I think uh, a more simplistic approach uh, could be a little better or a more organized one at least but anyway this one is actually these two um, just more of the, the blue uh, and not as red as this purple that we created here in this watch. Um, so you can sort of get an impression, you can see here, this is a little more like that, uh, of the way this one ends. This is a moleskin um, uh, notebook, sketchbook watercolor. So we can just see what it looks like on a more, uh, I think this is hot press, or I don't know. Uh, so yeah, just to get an impression. And for this thing, actually, if you're interested in this kind of style of sketching, you really should ch check out my course. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, uh, because it's just uh, the way to do this kind of sketches that's more uh, spontaneous. You just start, I actually started from this uh, tall tower and just moved outwards. Um, so anyway, that's it. Uh, just a word on this paper, because I forgot to mention, uh, this is Arsh, uh, this, this one here, uh, Arsh uh, Rough, uh, not Rough, sorry, uh, Cold Press, so the green one, uh, which I like the best for now, really beats them all. I still haven't reviewed it, but I will when I get a chance to. Just my favorite for now, beats the Fabriano Artistico, beats the uh, Arsh Rough, Arsh Hot Press. Uh, so this is it. <laughs> I know I've been all over the place with this video. Hopefully uh, you will enjoy it. Let me know what you think in a comment below. Uh, I'm always happy to do the things that interest you more. Um, and that's it. Let's wrap up the video. That's it for today, friends. Really, thank you for watching. Uh, and if you made it to the end of the video, really, I appreciate it. Um, so a few things. Uh, a link to my course will be down in the description box below. And as I said, uh, let me know in a comment what you think uh, of this type of videos, if you enjoy it, because uh, there are a lot of other topics I want to cover that I really enjoy talking about. Um, so I really am always happy to cater to what you want. So let me know what you think. Don't forget Snapchat and Instagram. I'm posting tons of stuff there and I'm going to I'm gonna be posting so much uh, there uh, you're just gonna love it and also I'm gonna uh, be doing a giveaway I think this month uh, someone asked for it and I think it's a good time to do that so uh, you want to pay attention to my updates here and there as well uh, because it's gonna be something uh, combined between all these three channels time to wrap it up thanks again have an amazing day and I'll see you next time